Hello, it's Sarah. I just figured I'd turn on the camera, guys. I am in the craft room. Um, going to be wood burning. We are really low on wood. This wood, we used the Glow Forge for it. Obviously, I didn't. We had to buy separate tape. So I got this wood from Ho Home Depot. Um, this is actually from the Dollar Tree. So I just bought like a big flowery shape or something and I was able to cut the this size Hamsa hand from it and this one is from Home Depot or no no this is actually um, one of the rounds that I was using for my mandalas that I had left over that Joe used to cut this one so I'm gonna wood burn this one um, we're like out of wood though that's my point so this little guy was cut from a piece of it's chalkboard on one side and dry erase board on the other. And I've made signs with this. I think I might have shared. I put some slogans on there. So if you burn on the white side, the black shows through. So it's a really nice piece to do signs. But I'm going to attempt right now. And in this bottle, uh, I have a mixture of black and um, all-purpose sealer. So I'm just going to take it, I just figured I'd turn on the camera and chat with you guys. Um, I could go live, I guess, but I think I have, I'm going to be off and on too much. I have a little stuff going on. Anyway, um, I've been looking at the, oh, where's my, I went to the Dollar Tree again. I went for a walk yesterday with Paula, my friend. Um, over in Epstein where they have the really good Dollar Tree and one of you guys had asked me about doing some heart projects so I got this it's an eight piece heart um, ornament set with arrows through it I just thought they were adorable so I'm gonna be playing around with these for sure and they also had this this dollar store has a lot more crafty items but I specifically wanted the owl this has ladybug owl and um, butterfly so I want to see these owls and Kiwi, take it easy. She does not like scissors. So I'm so excited. I have two owl shapes um, that I want to play around with dotting because in on Pinterest I saw a couple of owl shapes um, dotted pieces and they're just adorable. So I want to play with those. And But I am going to be wood burning today so maybe I'll dot first because I want to dot him too. Now all I've done to this is sanded it with a rough sandpaper so not my finest sandpaper. I'll use the fine grit when I sand it once it's painted but I wanted to see how this adheres and I think it's doing just fine. Now this is a, we got this on the Glowforge, um, or no, he must have gotten it off uh, line, online, like on um, images that you can get. Maybe it's a coloring book image or whatever. But there's a little bump right here, and I think it's part of his thigh. It's this right here. It's his thigh. So I'm going to have to include that in my design because it just looks weird. It looks like he has a tumor growing out of his butt or something. Anyway, um, if you guys go to Pinterest, see, I really don't want to mess up my nails. I just did my nails last night again. I used um, the French again. I have, because it gives you so many. I've been using the Kiss um, glue-on nails that you can get at the pharmacy. Actually, that's why I went to that Dollar Tree on the way home from my walk. I was looking for the Kiss nails because somebody told me one of you guys, that they get them at the Dollar Tree from time to time. And I did see some nails there, but they were only little kid sizes. So I didn't get them. But I'm sure they were all sold out since Christmas. So I'll, I'll bet they, they come back in. So I'll just keep an eye. But yeah, I'm enjoying them very much because they just make my hands look decent because my nails are a mess. Um, sorry, let me mute that. Anywho, um, so uh, I was looking for different shapes. I also found my Christmas tree. Oh, I want to show you that. I was looking for these two big shapes 
when I, when I did that video on the Christmas tree ornaments, I knew I had gotten one, and I thought, I think it might have been last year's Christmas. So I had these shapes in my stash, and I just did not, I couldn't find them. And I found them, and I was so happy. Um, because when I reorged my craft room, I took some stuff back out of here that I wasn't using all the time. And I'm going to set this aside, and I'm really hopeful. That felt like it, it was um, adhering to the wood. Because I know it wouldn't stick to the other side. The dry erase side has a, um, a sheen to it, like it already has a finish on it. So that wouldn't have um, accepted the um, paint. I, w I could have probably sanded it off, but I think the black, uh, the chalkboard side, did just fine. All right, let me just get that clean. Okay. So, oh, and there wasn't a pinky that fit this finger, so it was really long, so I had to cut it down. But I just like French. It just looks nice and clean. Anyway, so this is the, um, the last Hamsa ha hand that I had cut. That was the same size as these two out of, um, I think it was MDF, but anyway. And I designed this, and on, I, I used my chalk pencil, and it looked great, um, here it is, in pencil. But then when I dotted it, it, all this got muddled together. So basically, I was playing around with a lot of different patterns, symbolism, different things, like I Google it. And I try to figure out, so this is what I'm coming up with. This is what it looked like, the eye, which I love this eye. It's kind of like a lotus flower and an eye combination. And then these, uh, this rainbow effect is kind of like all of the chakra colors. So seven chakra colors. And then on this one I had put hearts. These are actually hearts. They don't look anything like hearts the way I did them. I love the way the moon and the star came out and I liked my yin yang, my peace sign, and the sun. The Jesus fish is good and then these turned out nothing like because I ended up diluting the green paint and it got too watery and so it, um, it just was bleeding. The dots were bleeding into each other and then when I went to wipe it off the, and then I gave up on it. I was like, yeah, I'm not fixing it. So. I just kept it as the inspiration for this one. So, and then I decided that instead of dotting it, I would burn it because I would be able to get such, look, so let's see, a lot more definition. So, I just take my pencil and get everything lined up so that it's centered. Um, I think I have this line going around the whole thing. I think I'm going to frame it. Um, this kind of comes to a, and at first I had a circle here, um, I wasn't sure, so, but these I do think I'm going to have there, I'm going to have that there, and then I have to just come up with, um, some more design elements, but this is getting wood burned probably today, but that being said, I could do my owl, let me go ahead and base coat this owl real quick, because I could dot him, and, um, I still have, I have this, I want to do my faith because um, once they're base coated black, they're ready to go for dotting. So I want to do my faith um, cross. I have a love cross that's ready to go too. But let me, I want to show you, I'm going to base coat that, but I want to show you on Pinterest this little, um, let's see, dot painting. I want to find the owl. Here he is. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a couple different ones. And it was really the shape, oh wow, here he is. This little guy, I love him. He has a little heart on his chest. It's by, it says, Personalized Wood Owl Ornament Hand Painted, Dots Land USA. Um, but see, like, here's another one. He has a snowflake on his chest. So the shape is pretty similar. His tail feathers are showing. Let's see. Here's one with open feathers. Like his feathers are... That is gorge. Um, I'm going to save that guy. I'm sorry. I get... Okay. Um, anyway. Yeah, okay. So this one has his tail showing. And there's his little butt. 
So I think I might be able to do pretty close to that on here, and I just think he's so cute. Owls are, um, I love birds, as you can tell. I have one on my shoulder at the moment, and there's one in a cage right across the room from me. But um, birds are awesome. They're magical creatures to me. I do feel a kinship with them. I know a lot of people don't like them. They're messy and all that stuff, and I get it. All animals are can be messy, guys. I got news for you. Our dogs wreck our couches. Like, I think we're in the market for a new couch. Um, I think we're going to try leather next because they just tear up the furniture. They tear it up. And they're not even that old, these couches. They just are. But I love them, so it's all right. We'll get a new couch. Anywho, um, owls, yeah, they're amazing. I went to a wedding last year. No, in 2019 actually and they had an owl there that it was kind of like at a zoo I guess um, it was supposed to be at a zoo it wasn't actually at a zoo but they had an owl there and he was so cute I had a macaw and an eclectus I'm probably gonna put gold leafing on the edges so I don't really need to do my edges I should probably do the back I'll do the back Anyway, and so, of course, I'm right up front and center. I love to see animals in person. I feel like children and animals are both in the category of just love. And I don't know. Nature is part of my spiritual, um, what, what, what should I call it? Like, uh just respect it so much that being said I'm not very good at treating our planet with care but I'm trying to get better trying to be more conscious of it anywho they make me happy they're part of my serenity like in heaven if there is a heaven I've al I always tell Joe that I'll just be surrounded by animals and children <laughs> forget the adults no <laughs> maybe a few adults too but animals and children and none of the animals will poop on you there because birds tend to do that my birds get me from time to time so now I'm just gonna like lean that up against that and it'll dry all right so I'll be back um, either either painting or I'm, go I'm probably gonna work on my lizard today so I'm gonna come up with a design and then I'm just gonna dot them and um, see like this I'll just share real quick I had painted this just to play with like designs and different techniques like this was when I was excuse me first learning how to make these little commas with the dotting tool I wanted to try color combinations and how big I could go with it looking decent I don't, and I don't love it and it's off center um, but so it's just here for an idea but I have a feeling my gecko is just gonna be kinda like um, Again, it's something from Pinterest that uh, I'm inspired. So I'm going to go to, oh, Pinterest, hold on. Um, dot painting. I will show you some lizards. Like, look. He just has a dotting pattern, but I like how he has his eyes are defined. And then I like this frog a lot. Like, you can just kind of create a pattern. I think it's going to be based on this frog. I really, really, really like this frog. If I'm dotting it, like, I think I'll be able to get a pattern going. And then I'll dot behind the background all. Like, I think my lizard will be green because I think I want to hang him in my bathroom. And I have green. Look at him. Simple. So these are simple. I'm going to um, sketch it out with my chalk pencil. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. But see, look how cute. You can't really see because of the shine. But you just make a line down the middle, and oh my god, I, I want to. I'm gonna probably print out a million of these geckos because I think it's just a different um, way of going about it. Like in other words, um, it's not a straight mandala. It's more like um, just dots in a pattern. Maybe just make a row of them and then start a new pattern. 
So, and then more like this. Look, there's a fish. OMG. <gasps> a frog. I'm going to have a whole critter. Oh, boy. Oh, look at the star. Oh, look. A sea turtle. So, anyway, now I'm going to have to go. We have no wood. Actually, I think some might be coming today because he ended up finding some on Amazon. Look at the cats. And I mean, I don't, I don't need wood, but the, the thing is, I want it to be um, things I can hang on the wall. Like, you can do this in your art journal, guys. You don't have to have um, a three-dimensional piece. It's just, I love the things that you can hold in your hand. So, that's what I'm doing today. Um, see, I'm going to grab him. I just want to see. Yeah, I think I'm going to be dotting on him. So I'm going to come up with a design and I'll get back to you. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.